With the release of Origin 8.6 comes both a 32 and 64-bit application. As indicated in the program title bar, I am running the 64-bit version. With 32-bit, the memory limit is 2 gigabytes, but with 64-bit, memory access is limited only by hardware and system configuration. Also, with the 64-bit application, you can import ASCII files larger than 4 gigabytes. In this project file, which I have the 8.6 features organized by folders, let's take a look at the overall file size. I can click to select the root folder and then right click and choose properties. We can see that the file size is nearly 4 gigabytes. Now let's take a look at the contents of the large data set folder. Project Explorer can now be set to auto hide freeing up the Origin workspace. I can hover the mouse over it to open, and as soon as I move the mouse off of it, it closes. This is some oscilloscope data. There are 5,000 columns in each of the worksheets. I've plotted some of the data as a stacked graph with six layers. Origin has a zoom and pan capability, which you can access from the Tools toolbar, or simply hold down the Z key on the keyboard and use the mouse scroll wheel to scroll in. We can also click and drag to pan along, quickly identifying a subrange of data, an area of interest. We could then use a new gadget, the vertical cursor, to read X and Y coordinate values for each layer. I can click on the cursor position it, and then tag the data with a line and labels at the desired X location. I can position the cursor again, tag again, and then when we're done we can close the dialog which will close the cursor. Origin 8.6 has added two other gadgets. Let's first look at the intersection gadget, which will calculate the intersection points for these two curves. I'll select the gadget from the Gadgets menu. In the dialog that opens, let's look at the interpolation settings. You can choose from a different method. We'll leave it at linear. We'll turn on the label, which will add a label to the intersection points. Click OK. The ROI box is drawn on the graph. We can click on the flyout here and we can expand it to the full data plots range. And now we see the three intersection points and their labels. Let's go ahead and look at the other new gadget, the sigmoidal fit gadget. Again with the graph active, I select the gadget, quick sigmoidal fit from the menu. The dialog will open. I'm going to leave my function as the default Boltzmann and go ahead and click OK. The ROI box will be drawn on the graph and the parameter values for that fit curve are displayed above the ROI box. Let's go ahead and click on the flyout and we can see from the change data that we're actually fitting all three data plots. The three replicates are combined and fit as one data set, what Origin calls the concatenate mode. Let me go ahead and reopen the preferences dialog on the Parameters tab, I can fix my lower and upper asymptotes and then go ahead and set these values here. Change the value to 0 and 100. Let's go ahead and click OK. The fit curve will update, as can be seen from the parameter values displayed above the ROI box. Let me go ahead now and click on the flyout again and create an output. The parameter values along with the adjusted chi-square value, or the reduced chi-square and the adjusted r-square, are output to the results log as well as to a label on the graph. Now the results log is another one of these windows that can be docked off on the left here and also supporting the auto hide feature. So if I drag this till I see these little handles here, I want to dock it off on the left, and then I can go ahead and click this button here to auto hide, and now it'll show up down here. 
Let's go ahead and use the Project Explorer window to see the data here. Let's open up the data that's plotted in our graph. And notice that two new columns were added here. This contains the fit curve data for our Boltzmann fit. Origin 8.6 has added a new plot type. The spider or radar chart is ideal for displaying and comparing multivariate data. Here we're looking at data that contains automobile performance data over multiple years for multiple models. I'm going to go ahead and create a radar plot from the 0 to 60 miles per hour columns. Highlight the data and then from the plot menu choose specialized radar. Now let's go ahead and customize this graph a bit. To do that, I double click on the points. In the Plot Details dialog that opens, I want to change the plot type to Line. I'm then going to go ahead and on the Line tab, set a fill area under the curve. We can then go to Pattern, uncheck this checkbox here so that I can set a transparency. We can then go to the Group tab and also increment by one the Fill Area color. We now have a good comparison for these five car manufacturers over these three years. You can now create a 2D function plot using parametric equations. To do so, I select from the File menu New Function Plot 2D Parametric Function Plot. Now in the dialog that opens, I can enter in my expressions in terms of my parameter t. I'm going to select an equation that I've previously typed in, and to do that I can click on the theme flyout, and you'll see it's available here. x and y are defined in terms of t, and there are three constants, r1, r2, and r3. Now once your function plot has been created, to modify it, you simply double click on the curve, the plot details dialog will open, and you can modify the equation as well as the values as needed. Four commonly used multivariate analysis tools are now available in Origin 8.6. Principal Component Analysis, K-Means Cluster Analysis, Hierarchical Cluster Analysis, and discriminant analysis. We're going to see how PCA can be used to reduce and interpret the data we have here. Let's take a look at this data for a moment. The data represents protein consumption from several food groups from 25 European countries. I'm going to select the entire worksheet and then click on the statistics menu, choose multivariate analysis, and PCA. In the dialog that opens, you can specify the number of components to extract. The report will include the scree plot, as well as the loading plot and by plot. In fact, I've already run the analysis, so I'm going to simply cancel out of the dialog. I go to Origins Report Sheet. We can scroll down and look at the extracted eigenvectors. The table displays the composition of the four principal components. Let's continue scrolling down, open up the by plot. From this graph, you can see that four components describe the data effectively. We can interpret that Western European countries rely more on animal protein, whereas countries in the Mediterranean rely more on fish, fruits, and vegetables. Origin 8.6 makes it easier to define a user-defined fitting function with an integral. In previous versions, you had to write Origin C code, but in this version, we've made it easier by adding a laptop function for the integral. Here we're looking at a graph with some data as well as the fit curve for the equation displayed in the yellow box. Let me open the fitting function builder. This is the interface that was used the first time to create the function. Now I'll just edit the function to show you. It's of type expression, and this checkbox needs to be checked if you're including integration during fitting. Let's click Next. 
Here's where you define the integrand which will be used in your fitting function body. Click Next again. We'll click again. And on this page, you can specify your upper and lower limits. You can see here, for the lower limit, we have negative infinity. You can see this expression right here, this function, the integral function, is added to our function body right here. I can go ahead and delete that and then show you once you set up your limits here, you would just click Insert. And again, the Fitting Function Builder will provide hints as you go through the dialog. Origin 8.6 now offers an easy way to view and manage the multiple sheets that make up your workbook. This particular book has 10 data sets, each in its own sheet and various fitting operations have been performed. The data and the results are contained in the same book. Let's use the new Worksheet Navigation dialog to view and manage these multiple sheets. I can right-click on any particular sheet and then choose Navigate from the context menu. If I wish to make a sheet active, I can simply select it from the list, right-click, and say Activate. That becomes my active sheet. Let's right-click again and open the dialog again. You can also sort, so the data, each sheet is sorted by its creation, but I could sort by the type of sheet. Flat sheet is a data sheet where the hierarchical sheets are origins report sheets. Let's go ahead and sort by name. We could then take a selection of sheets, like all of our fit linear sheets. Shift select. Right click on that and move them to a new book, for example, if we wished. So you can see that when you end up with a workbook with many sheets, that the Worksheet Navigation dialog makes things manageable. Origin has always imported many widely used third-party data formats. These are available from the File Import menu. What's new in Origin 8.6 is the ability to customize this menu. At the very bottom of this submenu, which may be cut off a bit on the recording, is a Customize option. When selecting that, an Import Menu Customization dialog will open. On the left-hand side is a complete list of the file types that Origin will import. On the right is what is currently displayed on the File Import Menu. We can go ahead and add something. For example, let's go ahead and add the JCAMP file format. If we wish to move this down in the list, we can simply use the arrow keys. What's grayed out on the left is what's currently shown in the Import menu. If we wish to take something out, we can do that as well. Move it back over to the left. The ones that are not grayed out are then available for us to move back over. If you wish, you can also add or delete separators. So you have full control over editing your own import menu. Let me go ahead and click OK. And then we can come back and look at the import menu. And we'll see we've added this file. And we've removed one of the files from this group right here.